Close your eyes. Breathe deeply in, breathe deeply out. And if deep breathing feels good, keep it up. If it doesn't feel good, you can change. You want the mind to settle down right here. As for any other thoughts that may be coming through your mind, just let them go. Let the birds be the birds and let the helicopter be the helicopter. They don't have to have your comments on them all the time. You just make your comments on the breath. Is the breath good? Okay, keep it up. If it's not good, you can change. You want to focus your attention right here with the breathing and the body. How does it feel? All the way down through the body as you breathe in and breathe out. You want to be sensitive to this. This gives the mind a grounding because the mind is so quick to change. In fact, it's so quick that the Buddha, who was a master of analogy, said there's no analogy for how quickly the mind can change itself, reverse its direction. It's going along fine, all of a sudden it turns right around immediately. It's like it's a different mind. So you want to change the mind so that at the very least you can depend on it. That's why you have to give it a grounding. So ground it in your body right now, all the way down through the toes, all the way down through your fingers. Be right here. Get the mind to settle down. This is where the mind gains strength, because otherwise it's just a victim of whatever comes by. It gets pushed around very easily. And it wants things to be this way and that way, and when it wants it to be that way and this way, but it doesn't get it, then it's upset. It shows that the mind is weak. If the mind is really strong. It can put up with anything, stay in any situation, and not be blown around. You stick with your principles. You stick with your, what you know is true, what you know is right. And you find your happiness inside, rather than trying to shape the world to be the way you want it to be outside. It's not that we're totally passive, but at the very least you want to know that there are some times when you cannot have an effect on the outside, and you've got to learn how to develop patience. The best way to develop patience is through grounding the mind like this. So it's not a gritting your teeth kind of patience. It's more, okay, I'm perfectly fine without that kind of patience. And you can keep yourself going this way. So give yourself a grounding. Otherwise, the mind is like a balloon that blows around in the air. And soon it's going to fall down someplace and explode. But if the mind is grounded, it's, it's not a balloon anymore. It's like Earth. Earth can't be destroyed. So you want to, sh to shape your mind. Put your mind in good shape so that it, it isn't easily moved around, isn't easily affected by things. You're a lot stronger and your happiness is a lot more solid and secure. 